How do you turn a desert green? You bank the rain. Here are three field tested methods that I've seen working firsthand in my travels around the world. First, half moons are shallow, crescent shaped basins laid on contour with the opening uphill. When it rains, sheet flow enters the opening and the berm on the down slope edge holds the water in place. That water slows, sinks, and spreads into the root zone instead of evaporating or running off. We plant a tree or shrub or grasses inside each basin. Half moons are perfect for bare crusted land because they create a pattern of thousands of tiny protected oases that capture moisture and jumpstart vegetation. Second, Swales are continuous trenches built on contour. Swales don't let water drain downhill. They pause it and let it infiltrate down into the ground. Swales overflow through design spillways and are used to establish permanent vegetation like food forests and windbreaks. On gentle slopes, a few well-placed swales can rehydrate entire hillsides, reduce erosion, and keep soil moisture available long after the storm has passed. Third, rainwater storage tanks. Rooftop or courtyard rainwater can be filtered and then directed into a covered cistern above or below ground. Underground, water stays cool, shaded, and clean with zero evaporation. Add a simple silt trap and filter, keep the lid sealed, and draw from a tap or hand pump. A well-designed tank turns brief rains into year-round household water security. Catch it high, slow and sink it, store it safely, grow a forest. That's how you green a desert. Are you ready to transform deserts, create lush backyards, and feed communities? This is your starting point, Oregon State University's online permaculture design course. Join us in creating a better world for everyone. See you in class.